What's up my dudes, Valk here. You'll probably see him in another video because I'm making another video while making this one, but I do want to get a showcase out for my little Shrimpler here. I don't remember his actual name in the series, but I actually like him. My favorite old man farmer here, uh, Shrimpy. Um, we're gonna, his name is Queenie in the game. I don't remember what his actual name is, but I have him with Monarch. You can see he's 12.38K placement with Monarch for a 2K versus 8.04k i have him on uh what is this z plus i believe z plus s and z let me see i have him here we have 100 percent. you know what let's uh let's do this yeah hey we went down one anyways i have him on 22 z plus a and z the spa it does matter a lot it's why i want to try to get z on him but i will probably grind for that or see if i can transfer since i did roll monarch on him I, let's see let's let's see if we got somebody we can transfer we somebody we can steal from that we won't be missing too much um you know what i could probably do i do have some so if i go here and i go to like this zion here that has nothing on him and i just like roll a couple times see that's that's why you do that that's why you do that that way uh you know the odds of you getting something that you can just throw on anybody is pretty good. Uh, let's see. Gone are the days of actually farming worthiness. So let's see if there's anybody that we can actively steal an SPA from. Choso is tempting, but then I would have to steal the I'd have to steal all that, and Choso's actually really good. Tengen's really good. Um Yuji! Do I plan on ever actually using Yuji? And I do believe the answer is no, which is going to shock a lot of people because I don't plan on ever making Sukuna. I didn't play during the update. I don't really care too much. So let's go ahead and wrong one. Uh, sacrifice. Two sacrifice. Z. Come here. This way we can trick out our Shrimpler. Uh, rest in peace, Itadori Yuji. Yes. Yes. And there we go. So now our Shrimpler is stacked out, stacked to the gills, Z plus Z and Z. Uh, four SPA on placement. It's actually hella good. He's just expensive as hell for placement. Uh, he seems to be really, really, really good. And like I said, I have him with Monarch. So let's go ahead. Let's take, and, and I'm going to be real. I'm going to talk a little bit about the update as a whole here. Um, the update as a whole, all these units are bad. I'm going to let you know this right now. All of them are bad with the exception of him and Diavolo. Him and Diavolo seem to be pretty good, but the other three seem to be pretty, pretty terrible, to be blunt. And I really like him. I think he's really, really dope. He's, like I said, he's one of my favorite characters in Dan to Dan. This is the cosmetic. Super sick. Let's go ahead, hit up an infinite, and see exactly what we can do with him. Uh, let me swap this so I can get my team up and running as fast as possible with Takarada. Uh, we're going to go here, put on Takarada and we're going to cook with this so let's go ahead let's hit up an infinite and wait can i i should just go first stage of paragon now that i think about it right yeah because we just got the one placement anyways so let's confirm let's start let's just do the first stage of paragon that way we get a lot of money really really fast and we can just play it like this so he is really good i've been using him a lot the only downside is the fact he's a line and his spa whenever he's fully maxed out kind of suck um outside of that yeah, he's pretty damn good so we're gonna pick this just for that and then i guess we can pick uh enemy dodge yeah enemy dodge so let's go here and we're going to just put money 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 and then we're going to max this out and at wave tick we'll probably put him down and you guys can see how good he is on placement. I think because he has a pretty low SPA, his range is kind of bad, to be honest. I didn't bring Haruka Rin, so don't worry about the Haruka Rin bus. I didn't bring her, but his range is kind of bad. Um, that, that is something that he struggles with, his range. But you can see his SPA. His SPA is very low, and he's very strong. So let's go ahead. Let's turn on unit VFX because I've been grinding the curse energy event, so I didn't have him. Uh, we're going to disable this, uh, turn that back on, turn that back on. And then we're going to see what he can do. So on placement, his very first attack is actually kind of sick. He bobs and weaves and just hits him with a right hook. Watch. Pop, pop, pop. Left hook, excuse me. Hits him with a left hook. Super, super sick. Super dope. We're going to go ahead, upgrade all of our money. Get our money upgraded so whenever it comes time to max him out, we're perfectly good. 
But you can see he's managing the first good waves on his own. The only thing he's going to struggle on because he's singled it is he is going to struggle with um he is going to be struggling with shields. So his passive here, let me go over his passive real quick because I always forget. This is why you see the plus 2.5 damage plus 2.5 percent per attack performed up to 37.5 percent every five attacks performed spa minus 50 percent for the next two attacks and that's why he's at two spa right now that's why he's absolutely cooking with the spa and you can see his attack on placement is 16.41 k with his passive building up he's super super cracked super cracked so we're gonna go ahead upgrade him a couple times keep him in that very first upgrade that way he keeps that uh really really low sba and let him just absolutely cook uh, we might need, because he's getting stunned to the high heavens from Frieza, we might need to uh, go ahead and put down Julius just to help out some. We'll see. He's probably going to one, he's not going to, probably, he is going to one-shot Frieza here. We are going to put Julius down in a second. Bop, yeah. Straight up one-shot Frieza. So we're going to put Julius down in his next wave tick. Um, Julius is going to clean up all the stragglers, and we're going to keep looking at how high he can go. So, he's at 21.35k, we have, and I only have him at level 51, keep that in mind, he is going to get a lot higher, because I do have 9 more levels to go. Next we have Mantis Barrage, which is probably, in my opinion, his best move, uh, because he turns into a massive multi-hit, and I do mean he hits a ton, you can see, da 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 yeah, he turns into a massive multi-hit and just shreds. Then here he gets more upgrades, then we have Air Shockwave, which is whenever his range starts to get pretty good, and his SPA is solid, and you guys can see. Um, 2.8 SPA with the passive, 5.6 SPA otherwise, 51.86k attack stat, we're going to upgrade again, we're going to upgrade again, 70.23k, 5.6 SPA, and 43.4 range. So how does he stack up to the rest of the cast? He's alright. He is probably one of the best units of the update, and he's still just mid. Because let's go ahead, let's put Julius next to him. Now I know Julius is level 60 and he's not. So maybe it's not a fair comparison to some. However, it's just, I just want to point them out and show you guys exactly what they're like. Uh, to show you guys how far behind these new units are compared to just the JJK update. And this is just Julius. They both have Monarch. They both have really good. Uh, Julius has Godly over his stuff. You can see Godly, Godly Z+, but he's Z+, plus Z, Z, Z. And like I said, he is level 51 where Julius is level 60. So maybe it gets better whenever I levels, but I don't think it's going to be enough to make up this massive gap that you're about to see. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look. And you can already see what I'm getting at. 126K with his passive still stacking. Um, what is the price to actually max out Shrimpy? 21K sell price versus this. So it's around the same price to actually max these units out um you can see 21.35k and then that so he's 132k on a 7.7 .7 spa and that is i believe going down spa minus one each time an enemy throws yeah it's still going down so 132k on a 7.5 spa 47.1 range versus 70k 5.6 spa 43.5 range i don't think any of these units are really worth going for in this new update but out of all of them, Shrimpy is the one I was the most excited for, and I do believe he's the absolute best unit out of the summonable new units. I think he's absolutely the best unit that you can get out of the banner of the new ones, except for maybe Diavolo. Diavolo, I have to wait and see more of, but yeah. like I imagine whenever he's max level, he probably reaches like 100k or something like that. Uh, but I do think like all the JJK units are better, and there's no real reason to play this update. Um, other than that, uh, other than the units being bad and getting schemazzed out of my 100k souls, yeah, this update's kind of, uh, kind of blows. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.